as we, when I, in, in, I, I know Al Adjua for a very long time because we are fellow storytellers. And Adjua is a great storyteller with music and dance and song. And I remember the first time that I saw her, I thought, oh my God, oh God, she got the rhythm thing going on. This is a good man, right? So that was a wonderful thing. And, and almost every month, someone comes in and they will ask about the stories of a Nancy. And, um, and then wearing the other hat as a different book list, then I intersected with Adu again in that she created the Pot of Wisdom, a collection of the Anansi stories. So we've got long history, and I was excited too that we were part of her, her book launch, and when I saw the thousands came through the door, oh my God, as a book seller, I was like, yay! You gotta know Adua, she's good for this, right? And then also too then, she turned her attention to the YA audience. Oftentimes, as writers, we tend to concentrate in the adult world. So I was happy that Adua looked at the picture book world, and she has written and published with others across the world, whether it's Heinemann or Longman or some of the European publishers, but she also has that experience. But in terms of YA and young adult literature, as a Canadian author, um, from a diverse community, from our community, I was happy that she made a segue into that young adult literature to share a voice and to bring our experiences. I was particularly pleased about her book Between Sisters, set in Ghana, rural Ghana, a coming of age. And one day we had the opportunity to visit Brookview Middle School, uh, where she presented to a number of young women who were budding members of a book club. Wasn't that a cool that day, right? Funny. And like, and I, and after that experience, they were book club members. They weren't like wanna be book club members now. <laughs> they were book club members. And just to to see to how her work resonated with that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, Adua, I went to Barbados to visit my mom, and one of the books that I took with me was Aluta. Uh, throughout my political career, which is like, I, I think I still have a political array, I used to like to say, Aluta, continue! Uh, yeah. Used to be a rebel like that, right? So when I saw the book, I thought, oh my gosh, it's a call and response thing now on the cover of a book. Comrades, let's gather. This was good. Love the politics. Even within the name of the book, even within the cover of the book, there's conversation that we can engage in with our young people as we look at a world where there's politics in the world, where there's a changing of relationships and dynamics, where their countries engage with civil wars and so many different things. So even from the cover of the book, we are engaged with the dynamic relationships that are taking place of this world. I love the fact that it had uh, that coming of age, that they had a little not really romance, but you know, you kind of think that, but not really think that, you know what I mean? Um, I like the fact that it had all those little elements which sometimes could be subversive, but also make our young people critical thinkers and to wonder and to have inquiry. Adua lives in Guelph. My daughter, uh, every time that we go to Guelph, she says, I like to move here. Well, that, that would be my daughter, right? But it is a very beautiful town and a beautiful space. And I'm always very pleased when your family comes um, to visit with us. And, and I forgot your name again. Fule. Fule. Fule comes and, you know, reminds me about all the things I'm supposed to do. You have the Pot of Wisdoms book. Oh, God, boy. You just reach. You know what I mean, right? So without further ado, I want to welcome my sister, Adua Baddow, great Canadian author. Ooh. Please give her a round.